how did we cut this trade on a sniper entry from here that is going to the upside right now like we, are, we are buying right now we cut it on a sniper and of course we are hitting um, um over 200 dollars with just two twenty dollars balance account so how did we do this now the first step to do is to go to the highest time frame now the higher the time frame the higher the chances of you getting a better sight of how the market respond and and it, it gives you the the, the 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 opportunity to take better trades now if you look at daily time frame here you can be able to see that here we have a resistance point here right so we also have resistance point here right uh, we also have resistance point here now that tells you that once you have a multiple resistance point that position that point is will become stronger now if we also flip over you can be able to see here on the previous that we also have resistance point here resistance point here right anytime price reaches this position it pulls it back with heavy reaction if you can be able to see here it got here it pulled it up it it got here it pulled it up right so this point here is a very strong zone that you don't that price respect so much right so now we are going to capitalize on that that was what i did i capitalized on 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 these zones to be able to make my trade work for me better so what i did was that when i found out that this is a very strong zone what i did was that i went to the to the, the one hour time frame right now if you, if, if you can see here this, this is the same zone here right? this, this is the same zone here this zone here was was the same zone where it's which is very very strong this this one you're seeing here this move this five move i see here is a breakout like a fake out from that zone but of course we all know that right, we respect the zone right and come back so what i did was i went to the door time from so when i saw the price um um gave us a week here went up and came down what i did was i went to my my trend line i took my trend line tool and then i plotted my trend line here right so it hit so you can be able to see i plotted my trend line like this so now if we look here closely you can see the price hits my my trend line here right it also hits my trend line here so i waited for the third one right i waited for the third one the third hit to my trend line before i'll be able to know what the reaction will look like so the surprise went up consolidated and then it came here to hit my trend line it hit my trend line here so i, I also waited because i wanted to be sure what the, the kind of confirmation i will have i'll be able to see for me to be able to take trades so if you if you are a forest trader you want to know that patience is the key to to becoming successful in forex so when my when price hit here this first one hit this second one i wanted the third one i looked at this position here it there was not enough confirmation there so what i did was i waited for it to, to come down and then it went up again right it went up again so now what i did was i now went to so as he as he hit my my trend line it came down so as it was coming down i went to 30 minutes right i went to 30 minutes and then i saw that that i saw something what what i saw was this i went i went to my trend my trend line to i plot my trend line from here right I plot my trend line from here to here now if you look here closely you can be able to see here that that it touched the first trend line here touch the second trend line here so i was waiting for the third one that's going to touch here after breaking here right it retested right it broke this trend line here right it, it retested downward so I'm testing downward i i saw this first confirmation now another confirmation i saw that make me took the trade here was i went to the one hour right was it one hour no i went to was it four hour something something like that okay yes i went to four hour then i drew this four hour trend line here 
from this point here right from this this point here i draw the trend line down okay let me get this one off first down here down here so now like you have heard before on other youtube videos before you can be able to place a trade on on price action strategy you must make sure it has touched two trend lines that is that, that, that is it, it must have touched trend line twice and uh, before you can be able to have a strong confirmation now it touched this this first it touched it here it touched it here so as we are waiting for the third one right now if you look at here it also touched it also touched 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 it here so let's go to um 30 minutes so now this is um as you can see here the forward trend line the forward trend line here right it touched it touched this it touched it touched this rather it touched this and then i was waiting for the third one right that is going to touch so if you go to one hour you can be able to, to see it came down here right and touched this right so mind you now we have two confirmations now the first one was let's go to 30 minutes now the first confirmation was this for our trend line right so i looked at it there i wasn't sure because i know that for every for every reversal a price will always want to take away the early buyers right now how do i mean some persons must have bought from here right from this point here where the price was going up right so they must have bought from here so what what this what uh, price would want to do that they want to they want to take away the stop losses of early buyers you know people must have put their stop losses under this week here right under this week here because uh, the no price might not actually come come home here so because this thing must have put it back or upward so what did what price did well price broke price broke broke it and then came down right price broke it and and came down so now that was what, what i saw so i i did not take my trade from here first of all i waited so what price did was that price came down and and actually i am um, arrived on this my on this my trend on this my 30 minutes why is it doing like this on this my 30 minutes trend after i broke it now another confirmation i also got the third confirmation i got uh, remember i said the first confirmation was this forward trend line the second confirmation was this 30 minutes trend line and then the third confirmation i got was that if you go to 15 minutes right now there's something in 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 a smart money concept that is called fair value gaps right now if you look here closely if you look here closely if you look here closely you can be able to see here that 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 there's a fair value gap here is a fair value a fair value gap here so i wanted price to cover that fair value gap there if you look at here um, the, um the the price the, the the candle did not touch this this first candle this first candle here did not touch this this second week here right so if you look at it there you can be able to see there there's a gap there's a gap there right there's a gap there so i wanted price to come and cover out that gap there before i'll i'll now know what the next reaction price is going to give me so as price covered it as you can see here the price have covered the fair value gap right has covered it so once it covered it then i had to take my buy immediately i took my buy immediately let's go to five minutes you can be able to see i took i took it sniper on the mount right on 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 the very turning point where where, where price turned that's why i took it because why it has covered this fair value gap here right you can see here there's a, there's a gap there so as price went up it started going up and started going up i started go, going up it broke it broke this this 30 minutes trend line broke this forward trend line 
and they started going up. Now I'm going to hold this trade. I know look, most people here they want to close this trade, but what is this trade there? Why am I going to hold this trade for long? Now look at this. If I go to one hour, right, and then I I draw this my trend line here like this, right. Now uh, very perfect. Now another thing that makes me hold this trade is that let's go to 30 minutes. Now let me draw another trend line from here. From here, right? Let me draw that trend line from from here. Now, before we close this trade, it's on trip. A price have, have broken this trend line. If price does not break this trend line here, I'm not going to go out of this trade. I know most people want to get afraid to just make small profit or just run away. No, once the price breaks this trend line, if price does not break the trend line, I'm not going to go out. But I know price will definitely come back to this trend line. And then bounce up again right so that is how we will keep making profit and more profit and more profit so that is how you can start making money from trading it's very simple so i'll drop in my next video on how you can start making on how you can continuously be making money on trading so if you're new to this channel can you hit the subscribe button like this video and i will see you guys on my next video